Welcome to Shiny Tech Things, where we take things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and cover how to speed up your SSD in Windows 10. Now first we're going to go ahead and do a baseline to see what kind of performance that your drive is getting. And to be able to do that, we're going to go ahead and click on the Start button. Type in CMD. Now go ahead and click on Run as Administrator. Now this will go ahead and open up a command prompt with administrative privileges. So now we're going to go ahead and type in WinSAT space disk space drive and then we're going to go ahead and type in the drive letter of the drive that we want to get a baseline for the performance in this case it will be the C drive gonna go ahead and hit enter and wait for it to run now here we can see the sequential read and sequential write speeds so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is a defrag and if I do a defrag slash question mark, it will go ahead and display all the different options. So here I'm going to go ahead and run slash O for optimize, and that performs the proper optimization for each media type. So here I'm going to go ahead and type in defrag space forward slash O space C colon, and then hit enter. So now you can see that it went ahead and retrimmed the drive. Now if I go ahead and run this again, we can see if there is any difference in the performance. So here we can see 486 megs for read and 181 for write, 479 for read, 144 for write. So it is just slightly faster. Now, going back to the defrag again with the options, if we do free space consolidate, we can run that and then see what the outcome of the performance is on this drive. So now we're going to go ahead and invoke free space consolidation and once that is finished invoke trim one more time and then go ahead and do another test to see what the performance is. Now if we go ahead and click at the bottom of the taskbar we can also go ahead and click on task manager or hold down control shift and press escape and that will bring up the task manager. Now here if we go ahead and select the SSD you can actually see that it is still currently working on consolidating all of the free space. So here you can see that the speeds have increased on the C drive just after performing these simple steps. So now I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process again, but this time with the D drive. Now my D drive is significantly faster, so you can see here the read and write speeds are way faster than my C drive as I added this drive later on to my system. So I went ahead and ran retrim on the D drive, and we'll go ahead and run the test one more time. The speeds are pretty similar. Now this is a much newer drive, so the performance on it, even after consolidating free space, might not make much of a difference, if any at all. So let's go ahead and try that next. Yep, again, the speeds uh, weren't really much changed in this particular instance, but again, this NVMe disk drive is much newer than my older SATA SSD. Now, manually performing these defrags, including consolidating free space, may end up decreasing the lifespan of your solid state disk because it is performing writes to the actual SSD. However, the benefit in some cases is that it can help to restore SSD speed that you once used to have. 